This video will cover the topic, finding coordinates on the unit circle for special angles. What are special angles? When looking at a unit circle, there are some angles and corresponding points that we need to know. First, we need to know that one full revolution corresponds to two pi radians. Because we're talking about the unit circle, a central angle of t radians intercepts an arc of length t. The value t can be considered the measure of a central angle in standard position. Starting at the point 1, 0, we can draw an arc of length t along the unit circle. If t is positive, we move counterclockwise. And if t is negative, we move clockwise. The point where we end is known as the terminal point. Since one full revolution around the unit circle is 2 pi radians, the circumference is 2 pi. And thus the terminal point determined by 2 pi is 1, 0. Are there more angles and terminal points we need to know? Yes. It's important to learn the terminal points on the unit circle for positive multiples of pi fourths and pi sixths. Knowing these values on the unit circle will not only help you master this topic, but will be useful for more challenging concepts in the future. So let's find the terminal point on the unit circle determined by 3 pi fourths radians. I know 3 pi fourths is a multiple of pi over 4, and it looks like the figure on the left shows that the terminal point would be negative square root of 2 over 2 square root of 2 over 2. That's right. What if we were asked to find the terminal point on the unit circle determined by negative pi radians? We would go counterclockwise pi radians, which looks like we end up on the same point as if we had gone clockwise pi radians. This terminal point is negative 1, 0. Great job! Okay, so when finding the coordinates on the unit circle for special angles, we should know the terminal points that correspond to angles with positive multiples of pi over 4 and pi over 6 on the unit circle. That's exactly right. Great work!